We're just going to prepare our chocolate fondue and Desiree is going to do that. She's got a third of a cup of corn syrup, a quarter of a cup of cream and about 140 grams of bittersweet chocolate that she's going to do. And while she's doing that, she's going to, what are you going to do? You're going to heat up the, really heat the corn syrup and the cream together right. and then take it off the heat and add the chocolate. Excellent, cool. So while that's happening, I'm just going to prepare the fruit for our fondue. So I've got a pear, I've got some bananas, pineapple and apple, strawberries are nice. It's quite surprising to me. Why do you think fruit tastes so good with chocolate? Contrast. The contrast. Sweet and sweet. Okay. Right, now the thing about pears and bananas and apples for that matter, and pineapple, is that they start to break down quite quickly once you've cut them open. And you know they're breaking down because they're turning brown, right? Enzymes are going to work. So, what you need to do is you actually need to just dip your fruit into a little bit of citrus, lime juice or lemon juice, and then take it out. So I've got a bit of pineapple here, and I'm just going to do some really nice long slices of pineapple. And my bananas. I have to clean up all this mess in a minute. Are you a clean cook? Or are you a messy Reasonably cook? Bleak. Messy but clean up afterwards. Do you clean up for yourself? Yes. Not me. Not me, Papa. My mom had to institute a rule in our house because it used to be whoever cooked, the other person, the other sibling had to wash up. But um, when I cooked, it was like a hurricane had hit the kitchen. So my mom and my sister ganged up against me and created the new rule that if I cooked, I had to wash up after myself. Well, needless to say, they didn't get any exciting food after that. It was uh, pure one pot cooking soup. <laughs> soup in your tail every night for dinner. All right. Dipping these. How's your stuff coming along there? Halfway there. Right, okay. Another half a minute. So I've got all my fruit sliced up and looking quite beautiful. Okay, chocolate's almost ready. Let's have a look. Almost there. Right, okay. And I'm thinking that this is going to cool quite a lot and it'll be nice for dipping. What I'm actually going to do is start to kind of work out a little presentation or something. On my, I've got a little cup and a saucer and a large plate. Okay, this is ready, Marielle. All right. What you could do is pass the cup over here and I'll pour it in. That's not possible, Desiree. <laughs> I could pass the whole plate over there. Okay. Right. Let's have some of this lovely pineapple happening here. Whoops. Make some space. Okay, whenever you're ready, you go too hard. Okay, here we go. Hot chocolate. Oh my god, that smells amazing. That looks really good. Oh, yes. And we'll go dip in two minutes. Ha <laughs> ha. Right? Right, Dad, shall we have a little taste of our amazing. chocolate fondue? Mm. Let's get a good dip. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> chin chin, darling. Mm. That is very, very scrummy. Amazing. And that's how we wrap up Sankush for today. Thanks for watching.